Hello everyone, my name is Anik Bhattacharya and today I am going to do an unboxing video of a chatbot platform named Mov.ai. Actually I have a need of a chatbot which will be able to send notifications to my students regarding their results, attendance, weekly reports and all. Students are now always busy with WhatsApp and that is the main reason of my thought that if I was able to send them the details by the medium they use the most, it would give a positive effect on them. So now it is time to get our hands dirty and try out the platform and let's see what are the features that it has to offer. I got the recommendation of this platform from a friend. He said that it is pretty intuitive. So today I am going to try it out and give you the feedback about how this platform is. So this is the landing page of the website and it's showcasing the two platforms Mov.ai is able to make the chatbots. And as my requirement is WhatsApp so I will be focusing on that. So these are the features that it has to offer and the things that we can do with it like managing and interacting with the users and automating the conversations. These all look interesting so let's get started with it and see if we could figure it out ourselves. So here we need to create our account and it seems pretty straightforward so I'll quickly fill up my details so that we can move forward. So this is the welcome page after the sign up and stating that I will be having a 21 day free trial and I guess that will be enough to check out the platform and see if it will be able to serve my purpose or not. I suppose there is a learning curve to it and the pre-reads are given for that purpose so I will quickly glance through them and brief you about the same. So guys after going through the pre-reads, the important points are how to apply for the business profile, like what are the steps involved in applying for that and what is the green tick mark that appears on the right side of the business name. So actually it gives a authentic feel as the business name and the business has been verified by WhatsApp itself so people can trust the name. So it also talks about the message types like there are two types of messages, the session messages and the post session messages. In case of the session messages, any messages which is sent within 24 hours of the, of the customer's last message is said to be a session message. So we can send multimedia in that message and also we can send any photographs or any videos or anything. But in case of post session messages, which are basically any message which is sent after 24 hours from the customer's last message. So these are basically paid messages, WhatsApp charges you for it and also you cannot send any multimedia or anything, only text type of message is supported in this. It also talks about the sandbox. So this is where I will be able to check out the features and see whether if it serves my purpose or not. So I guess we have to scan this QR code and upon scanning this, we will get this website. So let's try it once. So it's telling me to send this message to mov.ai whatsapp. Let's see what it does upon sending. I guess we have to send next. So I'm sending next. So according to this message I have to edit the chat flow so as to get the things going. So let's head on to that. So here we can see multiple conversations in the chat flow tab. So I guess this is where the magic happens. So I'll be going to the get started conversation to get an overview of how the things are done. So this was the first message sent to me by the bot. And these are the branches of the conversation. So basically it's a flow of conversation that we have to pre-plan in order for the users to interact. So let's get started with making our bot. So this will be the keyword that will trigger the bot and I'm naming this bot school bot for me to understand. In this conversation this will be the first message to the user and I'll be giving the options of first to check out the timetable for the week and second to get the important contact details of the institution. 
This is where we can customize the error message so as to give the user the idea of the type of reply we want from them. Like in this case, the reply should be limited to 1 or 2, that is numeric value 1 or 2. Now here we will be doing the branching for the two options uh, and I will be setting up the conditions for the branches to operate separately. Like for example, if 1 is entered, then only the first branch will get triggered and if 2 is entered, the second branch will get triggered. And in the first branch, I will be giving the text message form of the weekly schedule and in the second, I will be giving contact details in the form of V cards. So I will be quickly pacing through it, so as you get a clue of how it is done. At the last, I will be inserting a loop so that the user can get back to the first option at the end of the conversation. So that it gets on and on and the flow of the conversation does not get disrupted. And at the end, I will be giving a thank you message for using the bot. After this, we need to go to the get started sandbox conversation in which we have to set the conversation jump to school bot. As it is sandbox account, so it will first trigger the sandbox conversation. Now let us check out the settings section which will give the profile details of the company like the name, information, website, address, etc. The source panel gives the number of the registered company and also the configuration for the WhatsApp link that we received at the very first. Now let's head on to the analysis section which will give us the analysis of the bot runs. It's basically an insight about the performance of the bot, how it is performing, if it is crashing or not. Next we will be looking at the nurture option. It's the notification API via which we can send notifications to our bot users. But to make this functional, we have to take the help of the mob.ai support team as the notifications are post session messages we have to get it pre-verified from whatsapp now our bot is ready to go let's give it a try now i'll be entering the same keyword i have entered before sandbox space skyk and it will trigger the school bot as you can see it has given me the option to choose between the first and the second now if i choose one i will get the schedule for the week in text format and now it is giving me the option to go back at first so that I can select again. So now I am writing yes and after that it has sent me the first message where I can once again choose if I want option 1 or 2. Now if I choose 2, as you can see V cards are being sent to me which I can directly save in my contact list. And now if I don't want to go back to the options, I am given a thank you note for using the bot. Now let me quickly show you how to set up your WhatsApp business account. You have to select the apply for WhatsApp business API. Then give your company URL and select your industry and the location. And after that, as you can see here are some plan details which we have to choose and enter the card details and then proceed accordingly. So I hope that you have enjoyed my unboxing video of Morph.ai platform and if it helps you, do give a thumbs up to this video. Thank you and stay home, stay safe.